In this video, we will uh, demonstrate accounting for a bank. The reason why I have this video is because most students believe that the banks do accounting differently. And the reason why is that whenever they look at a bank statement, here for example, I have the uh, Royal Bank of Canada statement, they will note that deposits are credit balances and they will note that any checks or bank charges are on the debit side. So there's a lot of confusion because when we look at the uh, general ledger, we see that an increase of an asset is a debit balance and here's a little bit the opposite or actually the opposite. So here we go. The accounting that we are learning is the same that the bank uses. You may wish to work for a bank one day. Remember, when we deposit funds with a banking institution, the bank owes you the customer money. Therefore, the bank has a liability to the customer to refund all the money when the customer so requires on demand. For this reason, when the customer makes a deposit of 10,000, the bank will do the following general journal entry. I'm just going to demonstrate it below. Bank will do this general entry. Debit bank, $10,000 and credit you due to customer deposits. In other words, the bank owes you this money. It hasn't really earned anything when the bank collects money from a customer. So it's a, it's a liability. It's almost similar to unearned revenue. Let's go back. So put everything in perspective, the Royal Bank of Canada also has a bank account with the Bank of Canada. The Royal Bank of Canada also has to pay employee salaries and other expenses. In other words, I'm demonstrating that the Royal Bank of Canada is a business and needs to have a bank account too, just like any other uh, corporation. And here's the link. If you can click on this, it will uh, bring you to the uh, annual report of the Royal Bank of Canada, the year 2012. And you will note that deposits, if you look on the balance sheet, are shown as a liability to the customers. I've uh, I attempted to give you a really, really partial trial balance or balance sheet of the uh, Royal Bank where I show that they have assets and they have net deposit due to customers. You will, de you will see this amount in the uh, balance sheet of the Royal Bank. Proof positive that a credit balance is what is owed to you, the customer. And interest revenue, obviously, is a credit balance too. So we just demonstrated the journal entry that the bank has to do, debit bank, it has a bank account with the Bank of Canada, and credit due to customer deposits, $10,000. This is what appears on the statement. So what happens when a uh, customer prepares on every thousand? Well, the bank will use your money to transfer to whoever you want to make the check payable to. So. Uh, the bank will, this should read the bank, will use the money that is owed, that it owes to the customer and transfers it to the insurance company, in this case being an insurance uh, payment. For the service, the bank will charge you a service charge. The accounting for removing the 8000 from the customer is as follows, or from the customer deposits, make it more clear. There we go. So the entry would be debit due to customer deposit 8,000, reducing what we owe to the customer, and credit the bank obviously has to use its funds, which you had already provided in the beginning anyways. And this is the reason why checks are shown as debit balances right there. This goes on, on your bank statement. Now at the end of the month, Usually at the month end, the bank charges the customer service fees or bank charges. The banks do not wait to set up an accounts receivable and credit service charge revenue. The bank simply reduces the amount that they owe the customer deposits. If we think about it, the bank already, ha already has the customer money. The entry will be debit due to customer deposits, $100, and credit service charge. The bank, this is how it makes its profits. Conclusion. The bank statement that you receive from the bank is what the bank owes. Here, I'll make bank owes. The customers for their deposits, for this reason, credits are amounts that the bank owes you, the customer. In summary, in the books or general ledger, a deposit is a debit balance. For the bank, a deposit is also a debit balance. 
Thank you.